Well, today, President Joe Biden warned the nation that a Republican-controlled Congress would try to ban abortion nationwide after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Now, Queen City News reporter Taylor Young joining us now here in the studio. Taylor, he made that statement during a meeting with governors from several states, including North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Yeah, Alicia, the governor, who is the sitting chair of the Democratic Governors Association, says he's doing everything on the state level to protect reproductive rights. And now he's asking the president to do the exact same on the federal level. Your zip code should not determine your rights. In North Carolina, as abortion remains legal, Governor Roy Cooper says providers are seeing an uptick of patients crossing state borders for care. According to Planned Parenthood, clinics in North Carolina have scheduled 192 patients from out of state for next week alone. That means about 10,000 extra patients from out of state coming to North Carolina in the next year, mostly from states that have bans and tighter restrictions. And those, Mr. President, are just the numbers from Planned Parenthood. That doesn't include our state's other trusted providers, so we know those numbers will be a lot higher. On a federal level, President Joe Biden says he's working with the country's top law enforcement agency to protect women seeking treatment outside of their home state. We're going to do everything within the power of the federal government to make sure that any attempt to obstruct, obstruct anything from travel to access to to medicine is, is just not, does not occur. The governor says North Carolina has passed a law that prevents obstructing access to these clinics. He says measures like these are only possible with enough Democratic state legislators to sustain his vetoes. His mission moving forward is to maintain the Democratic majority in North Carolina and push to elect more Democratic governors countrywide. Right now, governors really are the last line of defense and they're also the first chance at progress, which you're going to hear today, especially with this Supreme Court on such a destructive path. The president says he is working with Congress to codify Roe v. Wade. But unless the Democrats keep the majority in the House and the Senate, he predicts Republicans will pass a nationwide abortion ban similar to the one that the Supreme Court ruling. All right, Taylor, thank you.